particular room, which is a side porch on this particular plantation house that was built in 1790 during the Civil War conflict, uh, there is a interesting anecdote that uh, it, it was told about this house where Union soldiers were hidden in the support pillars of this house in this particular room because there are secret panels that lifted up off the floor that were directly over the support beams but were hollow in the middle. And as a child, I would find these secret passages and lift them and look down into the little areas where the soldiers once hid. How were these, were, was it just dirt? It's they basically just... rock surrounds that supported the house and they were hollow in the middle and you could climb a couple of guys or three inside one of these uh, openings. If you pan down and you see the floor here. This is not one of these passages right here, uh, but it it it, it kind of just gives you an idea a little bit of um, the openings. Well, I did see in the other room that the uh, extremely thick beam. Yes. And a and and it was supporting the house, and it was resting on a rock. Mm -hmm. not, not, you know, a typical brick like you might see. In fact, mm -hmm. we could go back through here. Right. Um, are you storing the video? I am, mm -hmm. and here is a, a door, and, and there you are, mm -hmm. and you're visiting. When did you live here, Mark? I lived here from January of 1973 to, like, about December of 1974. Five. Five, okay. So you were about like 12, 13. 12, 12 years old 14. going on 13. Not 14, now. no. 12 going on 13. Okay, 12 going 11, on 13. 11, 12, actually 11 to 13. Now maybe, please explain. Now turn as me we, around. Well, I was going to go into it, this area because might somebody has stripped the floors out of here. Yes, and here are the... This used to be the dining room. Okay, these would be strictly... I, this was a dining room in here. There okay. was a well, large, mm. nice mantle right there where you see the fireplace opening. Right. And the house was livable and in a slightly run down, but still quite livable condition. It was aged by 1973. It was definitely in need of updates, but it was still a functioning home. Um, but what I want to ask you, in the light. what I want to ask you is I see these very thick support beams. Yes. And I see these, uh, that they're resting on rocks and things like this. Mm -hmm. Would these be, would these areas be where the soldiers were hidden? Not here. It was out there on the sun porch I mentioned earlier. On the sun porch, but Just you... Just the sun porch. Okay, but you now. cannot show us that particular area. Because okay. the floors have been altered, apparently, and the and the compartments I don't see are visible anymore. So there, they, were, they were hatches of Fort Cecile hatches, but they've been... Altered. So. Altered, uh, you know, covered up. Okay, yeah, so I now I am going to pan. I'm panning now. I will explain this. This is the kitchen uh, informal dining area. This is where my family and, and us used to eat at a table. We had a large butane heater right there. Some of the original cabinets that were here when I was here are still there, but there was a sink section and more cabinets here. And there was an actual fireplace with a mantle that used to cook in many years ago. And that's why there's a fireplace in the kitchen. And I see there's been a collapse of the, of the chimney and all the bricks have yes. come down. Yes. Um, so this particular section here was the kitchen. And amazingly, I don't know what in holy hell is going on upstairs, but I see carpeting laying over open beams up here in the ceiling. Oh, all right. Let me pan up and see that. 
Um, are there any other? We're going on five minutes, which Come in here. I makes it a large some... file. Yes, well, if you want to shut that off. Well, no, know. no, I'll, no, I've seen people, continue, I've seen more. people post things on YouTube that are, you know, longer than this. Okay, come here. I'll show you a few more things. Okay, please do. This is a back porch. This is where the laundry room was at. In here. Be careful where you step, my friend. And I want to show you. Here's a bathroom that uh, I'm going to go over here because I don't trust that right there. That does, you know, that does rotten. There's a bathroom here that was here once upon a blue moon. Okay, uh, if I can maybe all step all in there and... And, and uh, unfortunately... Are there any fixtures of any kind left? I see a towel bar. No, no. Hey, may I take over the phone for a minute? I'm gonna, I want you to hold my phone. Okay, and, you know and, that, yeah, maybe I don't know. I'm gonna take, a, I'm, I'm gonna whatever. take, well, we can do whatever, yes. This is a bathroom that was adjacent to my bedroom. My bedroom is over in this corner, but it has also been demolished by the home thief uh, wreckers that came through here. This is what's left of once was a functioning bathroom. I can see where the tub was. If so they I, even took, was it a closet tub? No, I believe it was just a, like a 1920s era tub. Here, here, this room here, Make and sure I'm going- you know, show the room and everything. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to show this room to the best of my ability. This was my bedroom, folks. This little room. And I had the number 13 in metal letters. Oh, and there, oh my God, I can still see the number 13 here on the door. Do you see it, folks? I don't know if you can see it or not, but I put that 13 there back in 1973 when I moved in because I thought the number 13 was lucky. And although the brass letters are gone, the outline is still there on the door. This was my bedroom, folks, right here. It was off the formal parlor, and it was a small bedroom, and it was nice because it was my first on, my first bedroom of my very own. And this little room was my bedroom, folks, right here. All the original light fixtures have been robbed out of here long ago, but they were of a 1920s kind of Art Deco nature. Were any of them attractive in any way? Um, in sort of Ooh, a hey, plain hey. way. Oops. Yeah, don't don't come in here now. Uh, I, well, there's, I mean, there's Neil. Here that... There's Neil all right there, being brave, holding my phone. Now, don't drop my phone <laughs> into the ground, into the abyss. down into the abyss. Um, yeah. but folks. Uh, this was my bathroom. There's a towel rack that still remains, but I, did you see the number 13 on the door, Neil? I didn't, but I'm, I'm Oh, come I'm here. Let me point it out to you. It. Come here. I want to show you. I want to, this is, I, I want to show this to you because this is. In person. In person. I want you to see this. Okay. You got to climb over this lumber. You don't have to come this close as I am because I'm on dangerous ground. See, right I do. There, do you see I it? I do see the outline. There you go. Why don't you? Okay, so let's let's pause the video for a moment. If you'll hand the camera back, just hit the button again. The red button. Uh, just hit that.